Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be working on this Dodge Durango. The problem with this Dodge Durango is that it's been overheating recently. So what I found is that the cooling fan is not working. So I'm going to run some tests on the fuel box, starting in the fuel box, and then I'm going to continue with the cooling fan. So stay tuned guys, the whole video. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is test a few box. I'm going to use this tester light. I'm gonna connect right here on ground, right there. Then I'm gonna open this, remove this carefully right there, and right here you can see the K1 and K2 are relayed that control the high speed and low speed and right here fuse number three is the fan fuse so right there is number three right there k1 and k2 i have another video where i show how to check or test the relay so uh, you can see how to do it in the video I'm gonna put it there so let's check the fuse which is this one right here so right there as you can see is working I do it one more time right there the light so the fuse is good all right so the power is coming to the fuse now i'm going to remove the relays just gonna pull to see if i have power the relays are good so by the way because i already test them so are good just i gonna remove this right there we have power so power is coming right there we have power Right there is power. Okay. Power. So, which is good. All right, let's continue to the next step. And okay, now the track is on. So, I'm gonna test one more time. Right here. You can see right there, light. Which means good. Right here is light, which means good. Right here is live, which means good. Right here is live, which means good. And that means that the power is coming good to the fuse box. And the fuse also has power, which is good. So, right here is another problem. Alright, guys. Okay, now that I know is there is no problem in the fuel box, the relays are working okay, the fuse is okay, it's coming power to the fuel box, everything is fine right here. I'm going to move on to the fan. I'm going to cover this back right here. Okay, right there. Perfect. All right, now that I know that everything is good in the fuel box, I'm going to move on to the power where it's connected to the cooling fan, which is right here. I'm going to unplug this to check, run some tests with the multimeter to see if the power is good here. If the power is good here, the problem is gonna be the cooling fan. So this Dodge Durango is gonna need a new cooling fan. But 
let's see what's going on here first all right okay now i'm going to unplug this connection right here just to push the clip and then pull down right here is the connection the connector so i'm going to test this if he has power or not okay let's continue with this video all right as you can see right here we have a red wire a black wire and we have another tiny wire that is uh, brown with uh, light blue I believe so red wire power black wire ground and then the third one tiny wire is that the bring the signal to the cooling fan about when to turn it on and the speed so I'm going to test these three wires to see if power and signal and everything is coming right to this uh, connection right here all right and now I'm going to set up the multimeter to continue bolt right there so it's working the multimeter now the red with the red and the black with the black I don't know if you can see right there so I'm going to connect right here Red with the red, with the black, and right there. As you can see right there, it's working perfect. 12.28 volts. So that's meaning the black ground is good and power, the red one, is good. So we have power. So that's fine. Now I'm going to check the signal. For check the signal wire, I'm going to turn it on the Durango and then I'm going to turn it on the AC. And when I turn on the AC, uh, this uh, has to send signal to the fan, cooling fan to turn on. So let's see if the signal activate uh, if the signal comes to this uh, connection right here, all right? Because if the signal comes to this connection right here, that means that everything is okay here, everything is working good here, but the fan for some reason is not working, all right? Let's continue, guys. Okay, now what I'm going to do is connect this um this little needle right there i'm going to connect right here to test the wire the signal wire it's the only way to test this wire Okay, right there, right there, okay, okay, now I'm going to connect back the connection right here, plug it in. Okay, now that the connection is plugged in, I'm going to connect these alligator pliers to the multimeter 
right there. Okay, now that the multimeter is connected, I'm going to turn it on. Right there, it's on. And right there, we can see that the signal wire has power 12.51 volts. That means that it's receiving power from the computer. So now the next, next step that I'm going to do is turn it on the Durango to see if continue the power. And then after that, I'm going to turn it on the AC to see if the computer is sending signal to the fan, cooling fan. So if the signal is good, the and the fan is good should be working if the fan is not good but the signal is good that means that the fan is not working at all it's a bad fan all right i'm going to turn it on the durango to see what happened Alright, the Durango is on, the voltage is 14, 1414, around, alright, now I'm going to turn it on the AC. Okay, the AC is on. The fan is still off. Right there. It's going down is sending the signal. Let me show you that the fan is not working. So you can see right here. That means the computer is sending the signal but the fan is not working. So that means that this Dodge Durango needs a new cooling fan. So you know guys, the next video I'm going to be replacing the cooling fan of this Dodge Durango. So I hope this video helped you guys in case you had the same problem. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much.